Are you thinking about moving to Westfield, New Jersey? Well, in today's video, we're gonna do a downtown tour, show you what's here so you can get familiar with the area and see if it's right for you. This is the municipal building right behind me. And we are right next to Mindawaskin Park, which I'll show you some footage of. It's a beautiful park with a nice pond. It organically wraps into the neighborhood. Um, and it's very convenient to the downtown, only a couple blocks away. The overall population here is about 31,000 people. It's a tight little community right around the downtown with the train station, with nice shops and restaurants. So let's go check it out. Hey, if this is your first visit to the channel and you're looking to learn everything there is to know about the Midtown Direct suburbs of New York City, then subscribe below and tap the notification bell so you can be the first to hear about the current marketing conditions here in New Jersey and New York. Hey, I'm Jeff. The team and I, we get calls every day from people just like you who are thinking about moving to one of New York City's amazing suburbs. And we love it. So whether you're moving in seven months or seven days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email so we can help you find the perfect place. So we're here in Westfield, New Jersey, as I said taking a walk around Mindawaskin Park. It's a beautiful park, as I mentioned. Um, got this beautiful pond, and um, behind the pond is nice green area. There's a gazebo, there's a playground. So plenty of activities there for you to enjoy. Um, a nice breather, get out of the house on the weekend or in the evenings. Um, or maybe you're on your way to work, you're going to the train, going by it. It's a nice little um, breath of fresh air downtown. And um, we're just walking into the downtown here. We're only a couple blocks away. And let's go check it out and see what's here. So I'm walking into downtown. I'm gonna end the tour at the train station and talk about the commute times and different price bands of real estate. So definitely stick around to the end so you can hear about that. The uh, main street here is East Broadway, comes in off the park. Uh, you've got sort of a triangular shape downtown here. And the stores, there's a really good range of stores from high end to sort of mid range. So uh, Mountain Avenue comes off the park, it crashes into East Broad. Uh, you've got Central Ave, Quimby Street and Elm Street. So this is your sort of downtown triangle of streets with uh, different shops and restaurants. So the nice thing about Westfield is you have stores of all kinds, everything from Gap, to Urban Outfitters, um, but then even like mom and pop stores. It's a really good mix. Here's Urban Outfitters across the street. This is a nice kind of corner location where you've got East Broadway and then um, I think this is Elm Street and uh, Jewelry Store, Blue Mercury. Um, up here we've got a Trader Joe's down the street. Check that out. There's also a stop and shop nearby for grocery shopping. The style of architecture is really pretty. You've got these cool things like this, this sort of a corner turret kind of a thing going on. Continuing down East Broadway, we've got some nice ice cream for you. Cold Stone Creamery. This is sort of like an arcade area. Over here, you've got more like mom and pop stores, shoe store, Poke Bowls, Boxwood Coffee. It's a really good coffee shop. We've got one in uh, Summit as well. Claire's, some nice bay bow windows over here. So now we're at the other end of East Broadway um, where we hit Prospect. Got some really beautiful architecture at the end of the street there. Um, we're standing in front of Robert, uh, sorry, John Robert Custom Shirts. Um, Bavella's Pastries looks really tasty. Uh, there's an optician across the street, um, as well as a Japanese bistro. Some cool uh, flower shops down here, tattoo store on Prospect down here. Um, Vicky's Diner, if you're looking for more American type cuisine. And there's also Pizzeria de Farina, and there's Chipotle down here. So, different mix of options for you downtown on East Broadway. So let's head over on to Quimby and show you that side. Just walking over to Elm Street on North Avenue, and we're right in front of the firehouse. I thought this was really cool. Beautiful um, Spanish style architecture in the firehouse and you can see these cool arch windows on the top where the firemen stay and nice bell tower very pretty looks like something you'd see um, down south it's a really cool mix of styles here on the downtown and we're 
North Avenue is right along the train station. And here's Elm Street. So let's cut over here. There's some really pretty buildings down here as well. It almost looks like San Francisco. They've got these pretty pastel buildings, uh, pink, yellow, blue. We've got ice cream store down here. Old Havana Cube Color Lounge. I guess that's um, like a salon. Nice gallery, art gallery. So there's really cute shops on here on Elm, where Quimby meets Elm. Cafe with paninis. Cut across the street so you can see it a little better. So I was saying with the um, pastel houses. So this is Elm Street. And then Quimby is right behind me. So Quimby, they've started to block off um, half the road. So you've got some outdoor seating. Um, restaurants have set up tents and stuff for uh, when it's raining. Some of them are sponsored by the town. Some of them are sponsored by the restaurant. Uh, some fashion on the corner, more pizza over here. Jackrabbit for your athletic types. You need shoes and stuff. There's a Jose Banks here. If you're in the, if you're going back to work and you need some new clothing, good little uh, Mexican place, La Benita. Got a wine store here. Liquor, the liquor basket. Uh, salad house. I went here a couple weekends ago. Really good salads. You can do custom or choose from their menu. And there's a. I guess it's kind of a smoothie place with. Um, they have like bowls, uno bowl, ono bowl, sorry. And more pizza, Fiamma pizza. There's a pharmacy over here. So Quimby Street, as you can see, like I said, they closed off. They've got like cool games set up. You can play Giant um, Connect Four. And then this cuts into uh, Central Avenue over here on the other end. We've got a jewelry store. Uh, like a kid's store, custom t-shirts, and another optician on this corner. Uh, looks like a high-end optician here. Orby Parker, so you don't have to buy them online. You can come down to Westfield. We've got some more shops over here for clothing. Uh, Banana Republic. Oh, Bear Burger's really good. You can get um, some nice food over here at Bear Burger. There's a nice brunch place, Turning Point. Uh, breakfast and brunch. And then it looks like some doctor's offices uh, and post office down here. So this is Central. I just jumped over to the other side of Elm Street and I think I found my favorite place, Cineholic. I'm gonna have to grab one of those on my way out. And then they've got a really cool Italian restaurant here, Ferraro's, lots of outdoor seating. And we can take a peek inside. It's, it's a couple, it's like all these doors open up. Take a peek inside. So lots of nice restaurants downtown. On the other side of Central Avenue, you've got Starbucks over here, uh, Bank, you've got um, some more uh, fashion, Tinga Mex Mexican, a um, couple other fashion stores on the other side, Inspiration Ramen, I guess. And we're kind of back where we started. So you've got the Athleta, Jude Colony was the fashion store on the other side I was talking about. And there's the Rialto Cinema on the corner here, which looks like they're trying to fix up. These old cinemas are hard to maintain, I guess, so they're always trying to find a new tenant. We had a similar situation with the one in Maplewood when we walked by. Uh, let's go check out what's going on over there. So the Rialto looks like they're trying to change it into more of like an art gallery for now. Um, Center for Creativity. So that'll be cool to check out once that's up and running. I saw they're trying to hang some pictures. Um, just on the other side of East Broadway, we've got Korean restaurant. Looks like some kids fashion. And um, an interior designer's office. Just arrived at the train station downtown. It's between uh, South Avenue and North Avenue. It runs kind of through the town, right in the middle. Um, it cuts the town in half and um, that makes it super easy to get to uh, depending on which side of town you live on. Now once you're here to get into Penn Station it's about um, 55 to 58 minutes so you're under an hour. Uh, your best train is actually 51 minutes so you can get in very quickly. It gets you there around 8 o'clock in the morning in Penn Station um, in Midtown Manhattan. So 
If you're commuting to the city, definitely a good option down here to and from Midtown Direct Train and um, get you in, get to work. I should also point out lots of parking down here at the train station so you can get in, get your spot, and then jump on the train. So if you're thinking of moving to Westfield, New Jersey, the school system here has um, very good ratings for Union County and for New Jersey overall. Um, there's one primary school, uh, I believe six elementary schools, two middle schools, and one high school. Um, and you've got, uh, those are obviously spread all over town. The, the primary school is central um, because I think it's pre-K and kindergarten go there. And then the other schools are sort of spread out throughout the town. Talking real estate here in Westfield, um, got some really beautiful uh, older homes, sort of Victorian. Uh, we're walking through one of the areas right along the, the park. Um, some of them have fixed up, some of them need work. Also, you've got some that have been sort of gutted and are basically quasi new construction. But the style of home, you get these big wraparound porches, really pretty, um, you can see here. And, um, you know, all different sorts of styles, but most of them are in sort of the Victorian era slash, you know, style. The 12 month average here is around a million dollars. That's overall across the city. Now, if you're looking for larger homes, the upper sort of range of home values around here and sale prices and asking prices right now are around 2.5 to 2.7 million. If you're looking for something like a six, four, five, six bedroom, um, it also, you know, depends, like I said, about the uh, construction quality and the, you know, how, how well the home has been treated over time. Uh, that middle range is sort of going to be in the like 1.5 to 800,000. That's kind of like your center band of things where you're going to find a lot of stuff just over a million and a little bit um, under a million. And then for your older homes that are smaller and need a lot of work, there are some in the lower range. Um, that are ranging from like 800,000 to 500,000. Um, those are for houses. Now, there's also some that are, you can pick up some condos here. Uh, on the upper range of condos where it's a little bit fancier, there are some that are like 1.4 million um, to say like 800,000. And then below that, you've got um, some smaller condos that are ranging around, around the $200,000 mark. But those are like two, one, even studios. Um, but beautiful area and lots of cool homes around here. Definitely something to check out if you're looking for a Midtown Direct community that's under an hour into the city, into Penn Station. Um, and yeah, if, you're, if you like the Victorian style, there's definitely some cool homes, something to check out. So that's been our tour of Westfield, New Jersey. I hope you found it helpful, gave you a sense of what's here. If you're looking to find more information, definitely get in touch with us. We'd love to schedule a private tour for you here. In the meantime, we'll see you in the next video.